What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Quick Bit Entertainment, our fourth upload of the day. I am Hollywood Hogan, and today we're reacting to another Screen Junkies Honest Trailers. Oh man, um, they tried, they did one on The Greatest Showman, they didn't try, they did it. Um, a movie, look, I'm not into musicals, I'm a more of a horror fanatic, I love me some scary movies, that's the genre, and comic book movies, those are the two genres that I lean towards. Not big on musicals, but La La Land really changed my perspective on musicals. I know these are the same guys from La La Land that worked on this movie. So I did go check this out a couple weeks ago. And I gotta say, I became a huge fan of this movie. It's really awesome. Uh, even though I feel like it would have been cool if Hugh Jackman, you know, all of a sudden became Wolverine during that movie. And this was like the origin story of the X-Men. Can you imagine, dude? I mean, it would have been better than X-Men Apocalypse. Ooh. <laughs> but um, that would have been awesome. But this movie was really cool. I thought Zac Efron was good. Zendaya was good. Hugh Jackman was good. This was just a really cool, fun movie. I actually really enjoyed it. Even though I watched it like at 3 a.m. like a couple weeks ago. So, you know, Screen Junkies, their honest trailers are some of their best works. So I'm very excited to react to this. I couldn't react to Jumanji because I still have not watched that movie. So um, I'm glad I get to do one of the greatest showmen. So let's just jump right into this real quick. Um, honest trailers, the greatest showman. Let's get it. Three, two, one. I didn't even count down. Let's get it. In an age where average comic book movies make tons of money and average sequels rake in the dough. Theater nerds <laughs> finally get something average to blow their wads on, too. The Greatest Showman. From the musical geniuses behind La La Land. Love that movie. Hansen, comes a film full of pretty visuals and catchy hits just begging for an overly sincere <laughs> YouTube cover video. As you sing along to nine teen-friendly jams wrapped in a story that will make you wonder, when does the next song start? The bank. They're evicting us. I'm so not here for the talky bits. <laughs> ah, that's better. Meet P.T. Barnum, the boy who grew from wishing he owned his own top hat <laughs> to the man who owned all the top hats. Played by noted top hat enthusiast Hugh Jackman. God damn, Logan, you screen junkies are so good at this. P.T.'s lifelong dream to open a weird murder museum. <laughs> <laughs> but when that doesn't pan out, he'll roll with his backup plan. A scam freak show. Paid for by fraud, then he abandons his wife and kids for, and just the second he has a chance to join high society. Damn great shit. But after a series of show stopping musical numbers, this social climate comment will be met with lifelong success and happiness? Maybe you are a fraud. Maybe it was just about making a buck. Uh oh, they're on to you. Quick, Patrick! <laughs> Witness this real life Willy Wonka. But instead of selling kids candy, he's selling kids tickets to laugh at the Oompa Loompas. Oh my god. These people's exploitation is brushed aside. To spend more time with two perfect physical specimens, these two rocks in a forbidden romance subplot where Zach Efron is rich and white, but Zendaya is poor and usually a body double. And while the circus performers have to live with being literally beaten in the streets, Efron and PT will get way more sympathy for having me. Zombie Paris. Have you seen? Thank you. Damn. Even snobbier critics. <laughs> So watch, watch the beat of your own drum with this upbeat inspiring musical about a really shady, cruel, historical figure. But since too much honesty doesn't sell, we've got, we've got to cover with a more accurate P.T. Barnum musical with songs like the He Wasn't a Good Guy song. Ladies and gents, somehow the guy is with you. Oh my god. <laughs> the main up up there. Ah, oh, man, bless these screen junkies. <sighs> I've had to listen to this damn soundtrack for months, by the way. For months. I was literally forced into watching this because the soundtrack was getting on my nerves because I would kept listening to it like over and over again. So I'm like, I'm just gonna watch this freaking movie already. Cons the audience. <laughs> God, <laughs> Can you blame them for putting Zac Efron and Zendaya though? Come on.
I'm surprised they haven't made an X-Men X -Men reference. X-Men, I'm so bad at saying things like that. Google it. There we go. Jazz hands. <laughs> Young man Logan. Young man Logan. Ron Tomatoes. Can she swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Lip sync impossible. And Harry Elsa. <laughs> Jerk this away. Oh my god, Jerk. This is good. They put a lot of work into this. An elephant never forgets. <laughs> Hey, Screen Junkies, this month we are proud to partner with Women in Phil to raise funds in the world. Screen Junkies, man. Careers are women in the entertainment industry. And on May 3rd, they're putting on the biggest and funny extravaganza that isn't to celebrate. The show will be driven by more donations, so click the box on the left. That's pretty cool. Click the below to find out more. We want this to be the most epic movie fight event of all time. But we can't do it without your help. The more you donate, the more epic the show becomes. Help us raise money for a great cause and build a movie fight to remember. Click the link now to donate and learn more. Well, obviously, I'm going to put a link down below for this video, so if you guys want to check that out, that looks like a pretty cool cause. Um, Look, man, so like I said, this movie came out, like, what, December? And, like, I had to listen to the soundtrack from December all the way to, like, March until I finally was fine to just watch the damn movie. And like I said, I enjoyed it. Like I said, would it have been cool if it was, like, an X-Men origin story? Yeah, sure. Lovely, not, like, Wolverine origin. That was terrible. But, um, like I said, the movie was cool. It was fun. I had a good time watching it. Obviously, Screen Junkies is going to make their jokes, and they're freaking amazing. Yeah, they're, they're honest trailers are the best work I've seen. Um, it, Like, this movie's funny. Yeah, not funny. It's a fun movie with a lot of heart and a lot of ups and downs. Um, Obviously, Zac Efron, Zendaya. You have to money makers, um, Wolverine dancing, singing along. I mean, it's a great. It, it didn't have the. I didn't love it more than La La Land, but it was still a cool, fun movie, and I could see why. Um, Mooney would always play the freaking soundtrack like nonsense till this day, dude. Since this freaking movie dropped, she plays the soundtrack every single freaking day. I have to, I had to listen to it. Now I just watched it and I'm about to see why she liked it because that movie was pretty fun. Anyways, guys, just a quick reaction link down below for the original video if you want to check it out without my commentary because I, I do talk a lot during my reactions. That's just the way I react. I apologize for that. But if you like this video, slap the thumb, subscribe, join the quick bay quick. Um, daily uploads Monday through Sunday every single day. So if you like a channel that's active, that's uploading every single day, subscribe. Join on the quick bit quick. I will see you guys tomorrow to sweet.